This video is sponsored by Avail. With the driver demand at an all-time high, now is the time for drivers to come together and fight for fair conditions, more control, better rates and more freedom. This can be done through the Avail app. Avail wants to get rid of agencies so that drivers can get better wages, have control of where they work and choose their own work pattern. Want to know more? Download the Avail app today. I'm not entirely sure if I'm going to include this clip or not, um, but if I have, then hello. My name is Luke. Thank you very much for watching me and my channel. I do appreciate it. I have literally just finished recording the last vlog. Uh, we parked up on the A66. As I last said uh, goodbye to you, I'm now in the truck. And I thought, you know what? I plan on vlogging tomorrow anyway as a different video. But I thought maybe I'd start it off showing you how I, you know, get ready for the evening and stuff like that. So I've already half started, but basically, I don't know if you can see this, you might not be able to see, but in this drawer here is my wardrobe. My nice pink underwear, <laughs> blue underwear, blue underwear, blue underwear. Oh, there's a theme here. I like blue underwear. Anyway, that's my wardrobe. Uh, I've already got my clothes ready for the morning. <laughs> Blue underwear. There is definitely a theme. Uh, underwear, socks, a fresh t-shirt, jeans. I normally wear shorts, like you can see now I'm wearing shorts. But tomorrow I need to wear long trousers where I'm getting loaded. So jeans and about uh, t-shirt, underwear, socks. Uh, I'm about to take my hoodie off and uh, my hoodie will go down there as well. That's my clothes ready for the morning. I get other bits and bobs ready as well. So I've got fresh deodorant, which I will use in a minute. I've got uh, antiperspirant, which I put on before I go to bed. Stop me sweating in the night. I've got toothpaste and toothbrush. I'm running low on toothpaste. There's enough in there, but I've got a fresh pot anyway. So that comes out ready for the morning. This is the important bit, believe it or not. Seat forward. <laughs> Seat goes all the way forward because I need leg space. I've got to have leg space. This is my dirty washing basket. So everything I'm wearing now, don't worry, I'm not going to strip <laughs> on camera. All my dirty washing will go in that. That will then go down there in the passenger seat, out the way. In here, I've got more, I've got more fresh clothes in here that I've not put away. <laughs> underwear, not blue. <laughs> so let me just put this away. Another, another pair of underwear, uh, socks, another fresh t-shirt that can go in there. So that's now a spare bag, got whacked out of there. That's my bunk, by the way, if I ever showed you the bunk. That's my bunk, catching the curtain there. It's basically where I just store crap. I need to sort it all out. Got some cable ties up there as well. And some air horns, which don't appear to ever be installed. And my Harry and Son's coat, when it's absolutely lashing it down. That is my bed, my bunk bed. We sleep down here. It's my GoPro case. My GoPro stuff goes in here. It sits on my bed normally during the day, but I can't get it shut now. Oh, that'll do. We're gonna whack it in the bag. Uh, there we go. We're gonna whack that case in the bag while we're in here. We're going to get some Hugo Boss out. I will put that on in the morning. Uh, eyelash curlers. Woo! We all know I've got eyelash problems. Uh, I have eyelash curlers. So what? Sue me. So I basically... Can you see that? Grab my eyelash and I'll just pull it out of the way. I'm still trying to treat it. Um, what else is there? Oh, I need that. That's eye drops that I'm putting in at the moment. I'm gonna put another drop in in a second. Right, bag can go down there. High vis is here. 
Put the high vis down by my clothes as well. Lovely jubbly. Wet wipes. Wet wipes are the important bit. Obviously, I'm parked in a lay-by. I have no services, no facilities, no water. Well, I got water in my side locker, so I can wash my hands in there. Uh, or I can use wet wipes to have what we call a trucker's wash. So in a moment, I close the curtains. No one can see. Get naked and have a wash all over using wet wipes. It's not ideal, but it's really the only way of doing it. My fan. <laughs> my number one fan, you could say. I... Uh, I never sleep without a fan on. Call me strange, if you must. But I've got to have a fan on. So that goes down there, plugs in, press the button. That fan stays on all night. It's uh, running off a 24 volt. Never ever killed the battery once. Uh, not at all. That will literally stay on all night. Right, we're gonna take it off for now because I need to make my bed. Put that down there. Yeah, I need to, I need to make my bed because the duvet is coming out a little bit, as you can see, and also the bed sheet is completely rolled up. So that's what I'm gonna do now. So bear with. Okay, bedding is now made. So, I can now, well, I could, I could have closed the curtains beforehand, to be honest, but I'm now closing them now. What's that red light? Oh, the red light's just the brake lights on the truck in front. There we go, so I close the curtains. Ugh, there we go. Just make sure it's properly closed because uh, nobody wants to see me get naked. Nobody at all. So, I will see you in the morning. I probably will look very knackered in the morning. So bear that in mind. <laughs> see you tomorrow. Okay. Good morning, everyone. It is a little bit just before 6 a.m. Uh, I was going to wake up at 5am, but to be honest, I, I really haven't had a good night's sleep tonight, last night. Obviously, we parked right next to the A road. My God, is that a busy A road. <laughs> Just trucks going past and cars all night. Um, and although you don't get rocked around as much because it's a wide lay-by, you can still hear... Or the vehicles, and even with the fan on, it sort of disturbed my sleep a little bit. Anyway, I need to get dressed, put my card in, do some checks, and then we can carry on for the day. So, I'm dressed, I've just opened my curtains up, and uh, a snack van <laughs> is parked quite close to me. So, I'm going to have to go back to get out. I've not actually looked behind me yet. Hopefully I have enough room to go backwards. But I've heard, of, I've heard of some snack van drivers before getting annoyed with truck drivers for parking in, quote-unquote, their laybys. Hopefully this isn't the case. But I just opened my curtains and I saw this bloke with, uh, with a torch shining at what I thought was a lorry in front at the time. I could see a blue barrel down there. And then I saw him walk down the back of my truck. So at first I thought maybe it was someone trying to steal diesel. But I think that's actually a bin, I think. We will find out because... Uh, we are going to head outside in a sec to do some checks, so, yeah. Right, let's turn the light on. My engine's on, warming up. I've got to get rid of a lot of this, uh, de, I don't know, dehumidify, all this stuff. When you, have, when you have the night heater on all night, you, uh, obviously it warms up inside. I had no, no windows open because of the noise, so there was no ventilation. But never mind. Just giving myself a little uh, morning wash.
Right. After shave. Links. Uh, gonna put some eye drops in. Just check my mirror, there is definitely something behind me. Hopefully there's enough room for me to uh, reverse back a bit. Fingers crossed. Right, we've got to go back a little bit. So we can get out. Bye bye snack van. Yeah, I've, I have heard stories in the past of snack van owners getting really funny about trucks parking, quote in quote, in their laybys. <laughs> but you know, it's a layby for everyone to use, isn't it? Right, straight outlet. Look at that. Lovely jubbly. Thank you, man. Give a little flash in. Lovely, right, so we're, uh, we're cracking on now to where we need to go. Uh, we're about an hour and a half away, so I'll see you when we're a little bit closer. It should also be light when we get there. They, uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, sunrise is, I think, about quarter past seven, something like that. We're going to be there about quarter to eight, so see you in a bit. Okie dokie, we are just around the corner now from where we need to get loaded. All clear both ways. Yeah, so uh, yeah, we're just on the corner now. Uh, it's 20 to 8, just before 20 to 8. So uh, yeah, they, they, they should definitely be open. I think they open at 6, I'm not sure. I would have thought they'd be open by 7. Obviously, it's nearly 8 o'clock, so yeah, they're definitely going to be open. But hopefully we're not going to be in like the mad rush where everyone turns up at once. Fingers crossed. We'll find out when we get there. Uh, it's a good, I think it's a good four hours. Maybe, well, maybe just under three and a half hours back down. So we will need to have a break somewhere on the way down. I'm going to hope to get like a 15 minute break in here whilst waiting to be loaded. Because um, there is normally a little bit of a wait. If I can get a whole 45 in then, then I will. But... Don't really. I, don't, I think I don't want to get a 45 in. I only want to get a 15 in, so then I can go down a little bit more, a couple of hours, then get half an hour break in, carry on driving for another two hours or so, and then I still have two hours left of drive time available afterwards. So then I can go and get collection again, then back to the yard without having a second break. Because that's my worry at the moment. If I have a 45 here now, I think I'm going to have to have another break later on. So I don't. I don't think I want to have a 45. We'll see. I'll do some calculations when I get here. I'll put in the destination to where I think. That's the other thing. I don't actually know where I'm going. I know I'm going to Stonehouse, but I don't know what company in Stonehouse. I had a quick look last night. There's, a, I think there's a Calway, I think it's called, Calway, in Stonehouse. It was Builders Merchants, and that's who we deliver to from, uh, from H&H. &H. So I had to guess I'm going to say we're going there. I think it was Cal Calway. Calcay, Calway, something like that. We'll find, we'll find out in a bit. Right, let's have a look. How busy is it? How busy is it? Yeah, it's quite busy. Just waiting for this key to, to move. Trailer swinging out and getting me. Lovely jubbly. Oh, look, this truck at the front here is moving, so we're parked down here at the front. Right, so we're parked up here. I'm not going to get too much footage inside this place actually. And again, Keydwell don't like vloggers either, so. <laughs> um, I'm going to park up here. We're going to undo the curtains. 
book in and uh, hopefully we can get loaded. We might be here for a while, but not a problem. Right, one and a half hours driving. Let's go get booked in, see you in a bit. Okay, we are now fully loaded. Uh, wow, well, yeah, we are fully loaded. I've just got to strap it all up now. So that's what I'm gonna do, strap it all up. Put away everything I don't need, do the curtains up and then we can crack on. Uh, shout out to Paddy, I've just seen you mate. Uh, he just came over to me and said he watched my videos. Thank you for watching mate, I do appreciate it. And uh, thanks for the advice as well. Going to Stonehouse, apparently he went there the other day and uh, he said it could be a builder's merchant, not builder's merchant, a um, building site. So yeah, we'll have a look. Because I put the po there's a postcode on the paperwork I got, but it doesn't correspond with any uh, like builder's merchant. So it could quite well be a building site. So yeah, anyway. Let's get this lot strapped up and then uh, we can get going. See you in a bit. Right, we are uh, fully loaded. Right, so we're fully loaded. Just doing the curtain up now. Lovely. Uh. So yeah, we're fully, uh, fully loaded, fully strapped up. Uh, I do need two hands now to, uh, to do the buckles up. Uh, and once that's done, we can then crack on to where we need to be. So, I'm gonna do the curtains up. See you in a sec. Right, loaded, curtains done up, and we've got our paperwork. So, let's take this off, bloody thing. Uh, take my high vis off. that on. Anyone behind me? No, no one behind me. Right, I'm just going to take this moment in time to just have a quick look of where I've got to go. Old Lens Lane. Looks like there's a weight limit up there. Is that the only way in? Yeah. So, I think, drive there. Junction 13, yeah, come off the M5 Junction 13 over the first roundabout, left at the second roundabout, onto Old Lens Lane, which looks like a weight limit, and then second exit, first exit on the following roundabout, which is still Old Lens Lane. I follow that all the way up, there's another roundabout, straight on, maybe right, I'm not sure on that one at that point. We've got to go to Vistry Homes, Cotswolds. All it says is Great Oldbury, Old Lens Lane, Stonehouse. So all we know is Vistry Homes, Old Lane. So I'm going to turn left onto that Old Lane where there's a weight limit. Unless there's a sign otherwise that says, you know, Vistry Homes deliveries, that will be the way I go. Um, and then we just follow that road all the way until we find a site entrance. There should, there should be a site entrance up there. I can see on Google Maps that there's like new builds being built, so. Should hopefully be okay. New build homes, they tend to be quite tight, muddy. So it's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be fun, but we're managed, we're managed. We're three and a half hours away. We've done just over one and a half hours driving, because obviously we've done a little bit of driving in there. So we're gonna do like two and a half hours driving or so, have a, have a break, and then we're only an hour away then from where we need to be. So, um, I might do a bit more research when I stop. Have a look at the, uh, for example, every um, like building site that has a certain company working for it, like, I don't know, Bowway Homes or, or Barrett Homes or David Wilson Homes or Vistry Homes. Every single one of them has like a color to look out for because sometimes you can go to great big building sites and they'll have multiple home development companies working on the same site. So you need to, uh, an easy way to find out which area you need to go to is by looking at the flags or the, 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 the buildings, merchandise, not merchandise, like the, the, <laughs> uh, what, the posters and all that, all the material advertising that, that company and their color. Like David Wilson Homes is blue, Barrett Homes is green, Bowway Homes is like an orange color. So every company has like a color, so. What I'm trying to say is, long story short, 
when I stop for a break, I'm going to Google the company, Vistry Homes, because I don't know what colour they are. I'm going to find out what colour they are, what their logo looks like, and then I know what to look out for when I get there. That's the plan. I always say, plan your journey. So I know where I'm going, roughly. All I need to know now is what the company looks like, and then we should be hopefully good to go when we get there. You can't really do much more than that on building sites, because obviously they're, they're building sites, they're new. There's no street view or anything like that on Google. So, uh, yeah, just have to wait until we get there. But for now, let's crack on. Like I said, we're about three and a half hours away, plus we need a break. Probably get some fuel as well on the way down. We've got half a tank, but um, that will be running low by the time we get there. So, I'm just going to listen to the rest of the DAF theme song for the rest of the day. <laughs> I'll see you in a bit. Right, we um, just had a break. I've got no idea where we are. Sorry, I just... I can't say too much right now, but let's just say... <laughs> I've had an email off of someone, a company, as have Kev T, Scott Andrews, Trucker Jenko, and Trucker Jane in the UK. We have all received an email, um, and we are very, very excited <laughs> about the very near future. That's all I can say. That's all I can say. Um, but, yeah, we've just pulled into services... Um, and we've just had a break. <laughs> I got, got no, my mind's gone absolutely blank. I've got no idea where I am. Where are we? We just pulled into Hopwood. That's it. Hopwood Services on the M42. I've just been so preoccupied with other stuff for the, for the, <laughs> for the last 30 minutes. But break is over. So we are going to head out of the services. I'm not entirely sure which way is the way out, you know. I've seen trucks go both ways. So, both ways, I will go. Well, I can't go both ways, can I? Thinking about it, I'm going to go this way. Clear on the left. Yeah, there's an arrow down here, so this is the way I'm going to go. Ah, so, we are 54 miles away from our destination, which is translating into uh, just over one hour's drive, one hour, three minutes. So that's what we've got to do. Uh, I had a quick look. Remember what I was saying about it being uh, a building site and they have different colours and <coughs> Vistry Homes we got to go to. I've had a quick look. Um, Vistry Homes, from what I can tell, the research that I did used to be Bovis Homes, apparently. It's quite a tight little uh, service area, this, isn't it? Yeah, apparently Vistry Homes used to be called Bovis Homes. Uh, Vistry Homes appears to have like a purple logo, so it could be like purple coloured flags I'm looking for. Bovis Homes were blue and orange, so it might even still be labelled up as Bovis Homes, for all I know. And, do you remember I said that Normally on large development sites, there are multiple development companies. Well, it appears that on this one, you've got the lot. You've got David Wilson Homes, Barrett Homes, Red Row Homes. Who gives way? You give way. Guess what colour flags Red Row Homes have? <laughs> Red, that's right. <laughs> so it looks like quite a large development site, which is bad news because it means it's going to be somewhat harder to find the actual location we need to go to. I mean, we're, we're, I'm hoping we can do a large circle yeah, we can make that. I think we can come off at Junction 13 on the M5, go to the next roundabout, take a left, which should, there's a shell garage there, and then the develop, development site should then be on the right-hand side. I better stop at these lights. Um, once that development site is then on the right-hand side, I think I can go into that site, and hopefully, fingers crossed, I could go all the way around it until I get to the other side, which I was talking about, where the weight limit is. Um, there's roundabouts in between, by the looks of it, on, on uh, Google Earth. But I don't know how wide the roads are or whether they even completed roads. They might even be shut off. So it's all going to be fun and games, basically. So join me in an hour's time <laughs> when we're there, on site, trying to find the place we need to go to. Let's see you in a bit. OK, M5. We're just about to come off now, which means we're nearly here. Right, Vistry Homes. I believe they're, I, I believe they're purple, but they, I might be wrong. 
we're going to come off here, go to the next roundabout, and then we'll take a, ju take a judgment call because I've got no idea which way to go. Need to get fuel. I was supposed to get fuel on the M5 on the way down. I completely forgot to get fuel. So I've only got a quarter of a tank, just under, which is all right. Got enough to do this delivery, probably enough to go get collection, and then probably fill up with fuel tomorrow morning, maybe, question? Right. So that's, that's Red Row Homes there. I can see Red Row Homes. It's gonna get, I am gonna go down to the next roundabout. There's actually a weight limit there as well. Left turn only into A38. Right, okay. I think that's saying go down here. Great old wee homes. Linden, so we've got Red Row Homes, Linden Homes. Not the homes we want. That's a care home, we don't want that one. This is gonna be a nightmare. We're gonna end up in a housing estate. I can see it happening. The paperwork says, Old Lens Lane, Old Lens Lane. And if we turn left at this next roundabout, no construction traffic, okay, can't get down there. If we go left on this roundabout, that is Old Lens Lane. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna say that we've got to go in this way, which is the way I thought, even though according to my sat nav, it is a weight limit. But maybe they've changed it. Of course, once we actually once we actually find the housing development we want, we're still only halfway there because then we've got to find the delivery area. Old Lens Lane Industrial Estate. Okay. We have got a yellow sign as well, Linden Homes. See, it is great. It is great Oldbury we want. But it looks like all the developments are calling it the same thing. But there's obviously different producers. Now I think we go right. I think we go right. And then left here, I think. We've got a car right behind me which he's going to find very annoying because we're not exactly going to be going super fast down here. And then I reckon there's a couple more roundabouts and hopefully we're going to see it on the right-hand side. I'm hoping because all the other housing developments are listed on the left. Is that a bridge? Oh, there's a bridge down there. 13.3 feet. We're not going to get down that bridge. Do not turn right. Ah, purple. Purple cladding. Is, is it that? Fun fair there. Okay, we're not going right. There's a train track. Dairy Partners. I don't know, is it that? It's purple cladding. Around it. This is the annoying thing. Where do we go? That's a, that's a site office there. I might park up here, possibly. I don't know. Uh, red row, red row, red row. Where do we go? Where do we go, Luke? It's the Teleander coming down. I might jump out and ask him. Right, there's a weight limit down there on the left. Let me ask this Teleander. Hello, mate. You're right. Can you help me? I'm looking for Vistry Homes. Ah, yes. Certainly can. Thank you. Uh, follow this road right to the end. Yep. And it's there. On the left or right? Uh, 
uh, right hand side. Right hand side. Follow this up. Yeah. You'll see a roundabout up there. The vestry is right on the right hand side. Thank you. Cheers, mate. If you're looking to get into the HTV industry or you're already in the industry but want to refine your existing skills, I highly recommend that you purchase the Trucker's Handbook by Malcolm Green. There is a link in the description down below. This thing is absolutely ram-packed with information. Anything and everything you need to know regarding HTV is in this book. Go and buy it. Link is in the description down below. Right, see according to my sat nav, there isn't actually a road here. Don't come out, don't come out. Thank you. Vistry homes, Vistry homes, Vistry homes. There's like a burgundy colored company up there. Could it be that? It says Linden. That oh, says Linden Homes. Not Vistry Homes. He said up here on the right. This is what I find annoying. I'm going to go up here anyway. It does say Great Oddbury. see some blocks up there, H&H &H blocks. I'm going to head straight up there. The trouble is, finding room to spin an Arctic round in places like this is not easy. Aha, I can ask this bloke here. All right, mate. Sorry to bother you. Uh, where's Vistry Homes, bud? You ain't got a clue. Uh, Vistry's, uh, no idea. Red Rose, that end, that's the right at the island. Down at the top, you know, I think, you know what I mean? I've only been here a week. I've got, I've got H and H blocks like those ones over there. H and H. We so, had H and H delivered down there this morning. Did it? That's where I was in London. It just says Vistry Homes, Cotswolds, Great Oddbury. Nice. All right. I'll see you back by soon. All right. Thank you, mate. Nope. No idea. He's got no idea. I'm going to assume that this bloke walking up has got no idea as well. What to do, what to do, what to do. That's Linden Homes up there as well on the right. Dead end, according to Google. All right, mate. I don't suppose you know where Vistry Homes is. Yeah, that's the site office down there. Vistry Homes down there? Yeah, yeah. Down there, turn right. Yeah. Thank you, mate. You Lovely, thank you. It still says Linden. Still says Linden, mate. More H and H blocks there. Look. I think I'm gonna have to spin round here. I can't see there being much room down here to spin round. But <laughs> don't want to walk, so <laughs> yeah, I'm not spinning round in there. I'll park up here and I'm gonna go in the site office there and speak to them. That's what I'm going to do, and then it's probably going to be a case of reversing back. Right, let me go see what they say. See you in a bit. Gotta leave my cameras rolling. 
less to edit then, doesn't it, when I get back. All on one file. <laughs> All on one file, but just a 45 minute long clip, probably. Hiya, mate. Hi, mate. I'm wondering if you can help me. I'm looking for Vistry Homes. You have got it. Lovely. What have we got, my friend? H&H uh, &H blocks. You've got some more? Yeah. Fuck me. Someone else said that as well. Oh, I, I see you've got loads down I there. Lovely. I, I, I reverse back, spin round. Swing round down there, mate. So I'm facing the right way and then yeah. I'll just wait for him. Do you want me to keep hold of that paperwork or yeah, you give it to him? Or? Keep hold of it now and then I'll have it back. Or actually, I'll shut it now. Yeah? yeah Lovely. Cheers, All right. Thank you. Thank you, mate. Right. Good news. We are in the right place. This is Vistry Homes. Vistry Homes with not a single flag. <laughs> or single board telling you it's Vistry Homes because it says Linden Homes. But this is where it needs to be. Well, this area, we, where those blocks are there, that's where he's gonna offload us, somewhere around there. But he's on break at the moment. It's fair enough, as long as I know I'm in the right place. So what I'm gonna do now is reverse back. I'm gonna spin round, so I'm facing the right way blocks there, I don't know. Got some blocks on my left side, but a lot closer than I thought they were. I was, I was just about to turn and I saw them. Uh, right, yeah, so, oh, bit too much, too much turn. Yeah, so we're gonna spin round, face the right way, wait somewhere around here. probably where this road is here and I'm hoping he can just offload me from like this bit of road here probably I'll probably have to ignore that bit of reverse and I'm going down here I'll probably have to park roughly where I am now and he'll probably offload me from the t-junction but I'm going to spin around so I'm facing the right way that's what I'm going to do and apparently they're going somewhere here While we're waiting, I can get the curtains undone, get the straps off. And then when he does come off his lunch, he can uh, tip me straight away. Have I done that a bit sharp? No, we should be good. Spin it round, Luke, spin it round. Lovely jubbly. We just need to make sure we leave enough room for other vehicles to get past because I have seen one or two cars come down. And we're just going to go over here. It'll, uh, it'll be a teleander, so he will be able to offload from the one side. Be careful of that fence on the left. I think I do. Now I'll get you'll get a car down here. You won't get another lorry down here. But then you wouldn't really want another lorry down here yet because I need to be offloaded. Right. Let's go get these curtains undone. Get the uh, straps off, and then we can hopefully get on there. Well, when I woke up. She was looking at me She told me I've been cheating on her In her dream Lord, it wasn't a thing I could do or say To change her mind In any way She told me that things was gonna change If I wanted her I couldn't stay the same, so I stopped going down Friday night. I stopped drinking with the boys. Yeah, everything she has, I left in the past just to try to bring her joy. For the record, it can't be understated. All I've been domesticated. She told me to top off her cheek. 
Should be unloading me from the one side in a uh, big old dumper truck. Thing is, I'm kind of blocking the way a little bit. I'm going to tuck over a little bit more. I just moved the fence, so uh, I'm going to like tuck, tuck my tuck my cab in a little bit more, just to give these dumper boys a little bit more room. But that's it now. We've just got to wait for them to come. We're unstrapped. All this can now be taken off. So as soon as he finishes lunch, uh, we can do the curtains up. Arteries are tipped us. Happy days. Okay, we're currently still tipping here in Stone House. It's uh, not a quick process, but we're getting there. We're getting there. Halfway unloaded now. So he's going to take the other ones off. Turns out he's not tipping them over here like we thought he was going to tip them. He's taking them all the way down there. So it's actually taken slightly longer to tip than I anticipated, but never mind. So, yeah, time now is 10 past two. Yeah, just gone 10 past two. I suspect, I suspect we're going to be here for at least another 20 minutes. That's, that's half past two, just gone. I think it takes a good 45 minutes to get to you, Tetbury, from here. So, we should make it just before four o'clock, like half three, quarter to four, which is good because I think they shut at four. So, unless I'm doing my calculations wrong, quarter to three. Yeah, yeah, I reckon we'll be there for about half past three. So, we don't have an abundance of time available. We do need to get a move on, uh, but <laughs> there's nothing we can do until they uh, get us tipped here. So, no mind. The waiting game continues. Right, we're tipped. It took a while, but we are tipped. Let's grab paperwork. That can go in there. Lovely job, Lee. Right. Oh, we need to get a move on, man. ETA to Tetbury is 20 to 4. This is not what I had planned. I thought I was going to be there a lot earlier, but never mind. Uh, yeah, I can't, can't even remember what time we got here now. It's, like I said, it's, tw it's 20 to 3. Nearly, nearly quarter to 3, actually. Didn't think it was going to take this long at all, but never mind. That 20 to 4 ETA might go longer because it thinks we're on the road over there, am I not? So we're going to try and go out the same way we came in. It's always best policy. Always best policy to go out the way you come in, just in case. Got a dumper coming down. Is he going to move over for me? Because there ain't a lot of room over here for you, mate. I can't exactly just tuck into one of these sides because the back end will still be hanging out. Cheers, mate. Lovely. Right, so my brain tells me I can get out by going right. That's what my brain tells me. But I came in from the left. So I'm going left. Because I don't actually know if that does join up to the main road or not. It might just be a fake road. Well, not fake, but an incomplete road. So me and my wife, we're looking to buy a house. Um, we have a budget of literally just shy of half a million. Uh, that's the mortgage we can get based on what we earn. For, well, 475 to be precise, so it's just 25 off of half a million. So we're actually looking to buy a house, but these new build houses, man, they're just so small. For what we want, they are incredibly small. We want five bedrooms, ideally. Uh, at, at least one, at least one with an ensuite, <laughs> our, our bedroom. But if we can have like three bedrooms with ensuite, 
then bonus. We want five bedrooms because I want a bedroom for, for us, me and my wife, a bedroom for my kids each. That's three bedrooms. I want an office, so that's the fourth room. And then we also want to have a, a music room slash gym room. My kids uh, play music instruments, my eldest plays drums, I want to soundproof it. Uh, and also I want to get a gym set up so we can have like a running machine, a uh, cycling machine, some weights, that sort of stuff. So we want five bedrooms upstairs, ideally. But we also want a lot of rooms downstairs because my, my wife child minds, so she wants to uh, have a room dedicated to child minding. I personally want her to have two rooms dedicated to child minding. So it could be like what should be like a dining room or whatever, could be one room and then a study could be the other. And obviously living room, kitchen, that sort of stuff. I know you give way to the right, but I was on the roundabout before she was, therefore she gives way to existing vehicles. I don't know if you knew that. You give way to your right, but you also give way to the roundabout. And as I was already on the roundabout, she had to give way to me. So yeah, five bedroom house, obviously big garden, double garage, ideally. We, uh, we want a nice house, not gonna lie. You know, we only plan on moving once, so it's gonna be a nice house. But yeah, the problem is the, the new, new build that they're building now, they're just, they look way too small for what we want. So we do need to go for a, a slightly older house. Not massively old, but slightly old. But yeah, I'm looking forward to, uh, to moving. We're saving up at the moment. Um, we should have uh, enough money for a deposit on a house by, by summer. That's the plan. And at the moment, we've got just over 10,000 saved. And this is after me buying my PC. <laughs> but um, never mind. Right, anyway. <laughs> right, let's crack on. Um, sat and have a scene. Really? I'm just going to pull over a sec. I never planned the route. I just assumed we'd be going left at this roundabout. Is sat and have a scene go right? That is not the quickest way. That is such a long way. That's telling me to go on the M5, go north, go up Bird Lip and come back that way. Ah, I ain't going that way. Surely it's quicker to go on the old 419 road. Yeah, why is it sending me that way for? It was sending me a way which was 39 miles and I'd get there for like 20 to 4. The way I want to go is 16 miles, which is like half the distance, and we'll get me there for 20 past three. Handbrake. So, yeah, we're going to go this way. So we should be there before half past three now. And it's so much quicker. So much quicker and so many less miles. That's what I thought. I'm... <laughs> in my head, I never planned the route because in my head I thought I'd be going this way anyway. But it was like, no, you go that way. Never mind. Right, anyway, let's crack on. I will see you in a bit. Right, so we are now in Tetbury. Uh, we've been here uh, maybe 20 minutes or so, something like that. Yeah, about 20 minutes. Just waiting to go in and get loaded. We've got 22... This is the confusing thing, right? It says pallets, but it also said bolt bags. So I think it's a bolt bag on a pallet. <laughs> I, th I think that's generally what's going on. Uh, so I need to figure out what's the best way to secure that. If they're light, I don't know how heavy they are. Then obviously internals. If they're heavy, then obviously um, ratchet straps. So, but anyway, it's going all the way to Spalding, which is like northeast of Peterborough. It's a good four hours away from the yard. Now I could go back to the yard tonight, and I could go home, sleep in my own bed, see my wife. Could do all that, but it would mean that tomorrow morning I'd have to get up at like three o'clock in the morning or something like that because like I said, it's a good four hour drive away and I've got to get there first thing. Plus I also need to get fuel as well. So um, yeah, I, I would, it'd be a very early start tomorrow. So I am just gonna head there tonight. I'm hoping to get late, well, I mean, I was hoping I'd be in by now to be honest. It's quarter past four now. So been here more than 20 minutes, about half an hour. Yeah, it's quarter, quarter past four. I'm hoping to be out of here by five o'clock. Although it's looking unlikely. Um, I need, then I need to go and get fuel at Sirencester, by which time I'm hoping, by the time I fill up with fuel, uh, it's going to be like half, well, maybe quarter to six. I'm hoping traffic will die down by then. 
So I can jump on the 419, take the 420, M40, A43, past Silverstone. Uh, I want to go to the M1, past Northampton, and I'm hoping to park up around Northampton area, maybe just slightly north of Northampton. Uh, I've got, well, I've done a printout, but I've, <laughs> I've binned it. <laughs> what did I bin it for? Uh, I've got a good uh, three and a half hours driving time left. And where I want to park up, I've had a quick look, is just over two and a half uh, hours away. So that, and that's three and a half hours on a 10 hour drive. So um, I'm going to get held up in traffic. Plus I've got to go slightly off route to get some fuel. So we are going to be looking at, I think, about three hours by the time we park up. So it should be on about nine and a half hours driving, I think, when we park up tonight. Obviously it is going to be dark. The sun is setting behind me. Don't know if you can see. The sun is setting behind me. Uh, sunset is due in about half an hour's time, so it probably will be dark by the time I leave here. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> so we're just going to wait and get loaded, basically, and then we can uh, crack on and get as far as we can tonight so we ain't got to do so much tomorrow morning. Uh, the further I get tonight, I want to get, like I said, at least two hours away, maybe three hours, and then I should only hopefully then have... Uh, well, it's two and a half. Hopefully an hour, an hour and a half tomorrow morning so much like I did last night and this morning that's uh, that's ideally what we want to do so see you in a bit right we're loaded and as predicted it's getting dark it's getting dark indeed so let's take this high vis off Ugh. don't need that on let's get going because there's a tipper behind me tipping and I know he's going to want to go on the Weybridge when he's done. If there's a vehicle on the Weybridge, I can't get out. So <laughs> I want to leave now. <coughs> right, so. Me old mate. <laughs> so we're on uh, an hour's drive time, which means we've got three and a half left before we run out of drive time. Put the seatbelt on. Well, three and a half before we need a break. And we're two and a half hours from where we want to be. So, leaves us with an hour spare. We're going to get out up in traffic somewhere. Because it's obviously rush hour traffic. Um, this. Yeah, it's just it's five o'clock now, so um, there is going to be rush hour traffic somewhere. But we need to go get fuel first, so that's what we're going to do, go and get some fuel. Once we've got the fuel, then we're going to make our way to, uh, to where hopefully I can stay for tonight. That is the plan. But that is it for the, uh, for the video, so thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it, thank you very much. Uh, hopefully you've enjoyed it. Until next time, drive safe, stay safe. I will see you soon. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye-bye.